Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The name is J.H. Did you guys miss me? Did you guys miss me? Yeah. I've been putting some things together, and the first thing I want to tell you guys is that I have another channel, and the other channel is specifically for interviews. It's called Kicking It with J.H., that's a channel where fellow co-workers can come on. We just chop it up. We talk about whatever, however, whenever. No holes barred. Uncut, uncensored. The information will be in the video description. I'll leave a link to that channel so you guys can check that out. Um, secondly, uh, Quick question, quick question. You know, we're going to start the new year off with a question. Um, food for you. If your significant other, I like to say that because we're in this uh, new phase of male, female. If your significant other's co-worker of the opposite sex co-signs for them to get a car, would that be okay with you? So hear what I just said. So men, if your wife's or girlfriend's co-worker co-sign for them to get a car, would that be okay with you? And same thing for ladies. Ladies, if your husband comes home and says, hey, Jill at the job just co-signed for me to get this new car, would you be okay with that? Why? Just food for thought, food for thought. Leave your opinions and your comments below, but pay attention to the video. The male volume is there. The male volume is there. So people are getting called back. A lot of people didn't even get released. I thought there was a ton of people that got released um, at my plant. It was only the processors that got released. Uh, and they're slowly being brought back. Why would the processors get released first? The processing clerks. Because the processing clerks process the actual physical mail. And during the holiday season, bills going out, all these letters, so on and so forth, advertisements, they go through the processing machine. So they have a heavier mail volume. After the season's over, they don't have such a heavy mail volume. They were let go. But uh, according to what I've heard and at the plant that I'm at and a few others, not all, a lot of the people are getting brought back. A lot of the mail handlers at my plant didn't even get let go. Um, they're giving them a prospective let go date. But when they look at their, uh, they look at their, 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 uh, what is that thing called? Uh, they go on light blue and check. I, I can't even. Brain fart, brain fart. Anyway, they look at their form 50 and their form 50 says that they are there for actually a 360 term. What does that mean? And I had to ask a couple people. See, I don't go and just spit stuff out. I do my research before I talk to you. So I try to give you the best information that is provided to me. If you were let go, you're going to be held on our payroll for up to a year, I believe. If you get another job within the post office, let's say it was a carrier position or RCA position and <clears throat> they turn around and call you four months later and say, hey, we have a position available for you and you decide to come back. You do not lose your seniority as they call you back. So you just kind of pick up where you left off or they actually start your they start your tenure from that point on. Nonetheless, that's how that works. So it's not like, oh, you got to start back from scratch when they do call you back. 
There was a lot of disgruntled people in the comment section because of the misunderstanding having to do with um, being let go and thinking that they were going to be a full 360 term. Let's be clear, any 360 term, regardless of whether or not you were hired on during the holidays, is temporary, any 360 term, which is an assistant uh, or a postal support employee, they can be let go due to uh, lack of work or mail volume not being there. So even if you're there six or seven months and the mail volume for whatever reason just happens to totally diminish and you're at the bottom of that seniority list, then yes, you can be let go until the mail volume does pick back up. Does it happen? Very rarely. It does happen during the holiday seasons if they say, hey, you know, we hired you on as a PSE because they're not hiring holiday help. Whatever the terminology that they're using, you guys have to realize that the people that are interviewing you, the people but they don't really do interviews. The people that are fingerprinting you, the people that are holding the orientations, they that's not their job. Their job duty is not orientation giver or fingerprinter. They don't have the full-fledged scope. Only people that have the full-fledged scope are people in human resources that are at your location and do the actual hiring. Um, and even them they kind of have their hands tied on who gets kept and who gets let go. So when you ask a supervisor that's around you, they can give a recommendation, but if the need is not there, they'll let you go. They go by numbers with everything. Please don't ask Jay why. I'm just passing that information on to you. With that being said, uh, throughout this week, we will be doing a... Uh, Five reasons, five reasons, five reasons um, or problems with the workers in the United States Postal Service. Five different reasons and each day I will detail one reason and give you all the details behind it. Detail one. Yeah, basically said, said the same thing twice, said the same thing twice. Um, so just stay tuned for that. And as more positions come available, I'll be dropping some more information on that. Um, and, and that's all we got to say about that for now. I just wanted guys to uh, give you um, an updated uh, information on what I've been getting, gathering throughout the week regarding people being brought back, People being let go, people not being too sure, the PSEs, so on and so forth. Uh, again, if you're getting to the end of this video, please go and check out that other channel where I'll be talking, and I am talking, to other co-workers all over the country. Full-fledged uh, conversations. And if you'd like to participate in that, please hit me up in my email. My email is always in the video description. I tell everybody, hey, hit me up. You want to chat? We'll chat. And that channel will be more geared towards you venting, you expressing, you being you. Uh, because I hear there's some Facebook groups and, and these little chat rooms where you got a bunch of carriers that all they do is moan and groan to each other. Well, that doesn't uplift you. If you got one person saying, man, this sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, this sucks. That kind of brings you down. You don't have no, uh, you don't have no positive input. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, so you have to have some positive input when you start venting because you know you're not alone. So when somebody says, hey, man, this sucks, man. I got to be a PSC for, for two years, man. I, I can in turn say, yeah, man, that does suck, man. Or I can say, you know what? I was there. I had to do it. Look at where I'm at now. 
You see how you take something negative and turn it into something positive? That's what J.H. tries to do. That's what he tries to do. And, uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, um, uh, yeah, type the word. It's going to be real complicated to say. Camouflage. Camouflage. If you don't know how to spell it, just talk to text. If you made it to the end of this video, this is that J.H. with another one. Camouflage.